check the different text to speech quickly. So this is the uh, Google one. Chat GPT, advancing neurotechnology, the impact and ethics of AI enhanced brain computer interfaces. Introduction to brain computer interfaces, BCEs. Brain computer interfaces, BCIs, establish direct communication channels between the brain and external devices, translating neural signals into commands that can control various technologies. Yes, that was a uh, Google text to speech. Uh, this is a Microsoft text to speech of the same thing. Advancing neurotechnology, the impact and ethics of AI enhanced brain computer interfaces, introduction to brain computer interfaces, BCIs, brain computer interfaces, BCIs, establish direct communication channels between the brain and external devices, translating neural signals into commands that can control. So that's a bit better than uh, the Google one. So Microsoft's is better than Google, that's for sure. And this is the OpenAI's one. Advancing neurotechnology, the impact and ethics of AI enhanced brain computer interfaces. Introduction to Brain Computer Interfaces, BCIs. Brain Computer Interfaces, BCIs, establish direct communication channels between the brain and external devices, translating neural signals into commands that can control various yeah, technologies. Luck to all, uh, These systems this. hold the potential not only to restore lost functions, but also to enhance human capabilities this beyond our natural limits. This text to almost the perfect. Role of AI I don't know how you can BCIs. do it any better. Artificial intelligence AI is playing an increasingly pivotal this is a new role in the evolution that's of BCIs coming up on the website. by applying machine learning algorithms, particularly large language My models, voice sounds LLMs. More robotic than this AI one. can analyze the complex data generated by BCIs, improving the accuracy and efficiency of these systems. For example, AI algorithms can help refine the detection of neural patterns associated with specific motor commands or sensory inputs, thus enhancing the responsiveness and utility. Yeah, I don't of know where it got the motor commands from. Again. Examples of AI BCI integration. Yeah, I did ask for seizure One, prediction. Seizure prediction and management. AI enhanced BCIs have made significant strides in the field of medical neurology, particularly in predicting and managing epilepsy. <laughs> The University of it's California, always, San Francisco, UCSF. I'm pretty sure that before it was saying MIT, now it's saying uh, University of California, just making occur, up stuff. Allowing preemptive medical intervention. This not only improves patient safety, but also enhances the quality of life for those living with epilepsy. Yeah, that's generic. It doesn't Two, need the university name. The, there's many groups, groups that were like doing the, the same Gate research. Consortium have integrated AI with BCIs to enable individuals with paralysis to control robotic So that's a legit group I did directly with check their thoughts. Uh, for AI that. algorithms process the neural signals detected by the BCI to determine the intended movements, translating thoughts into actions with remarkable precision. The importance of open and transparent data. Yeah, that's the one the I advancement primarily of AI asked for. BCI technologies relies heavily on the availability of diverse comprehensive data sets. Open data initiatives are crucial because they foster innovation. By sharing BCI data openly, researchers across the globe can collaborate more effectively, accelerating technological advancements and innovation. Ensure bias mitigation. Open data sets help ensure that AI systems are trained on diverse data, reducing the risk of bias and improving the generalizability of these technologies. Increase accountability. Transparency in data usage and algorithmic function allows for greater scrutiny and validation of AI BCI systems, building public trust and ensuring ethical compliance. Ethical considerations of AI BCI technologies. Why this paragraph The integration of AI short. with BCI technology introduces several ethical challenges that must be addressed. Must be addressed. Privacy and consent. As AI BCI systems often handle sensitive neural data, ensuring the privacy and security of this information is paramount. Users must be fully informed about how their data will be used and must consent to these uses explicitly. Dependence and autonomy. There is a risk that individuals may become overly dependent on AI BCI systems, potentially impacting their autonomy. Ensuring that these technologies enhance rather than reduce individual autonomy is a key ethical consideration. Accessibility and equality. As AI BCI technologies advance, it is crucial to address issues of accessibility and equity to prevent the emergence of a neurotech divide, where only certain segments of the population benefit from these advancements. Conclusion. AI-enhanced BCIs represent a frontier in neuroscience and technology, offering profound benefits for healthcare, rehabilitation, and human augmentation. However, the successful and ethical development of these technologies requires a commitment to open data practices, collaborative innovation, and rigorous ethical standards. By embracing transparency and prioritizing user privacy and autonomy, the future of AI BCI can be both groundbreaking 
and globally beneficial, ensuring that these advanced technologies are developed responsibly and inclusively. Groundbreaking and globally beneficial, yes. <laughs> Oops. Uh, yeah, we can uh, go um, use less uh, sensational language, remove uh, words like, okay, let's see what else. Uh, Right, so relevant references, it actually found quite a few. The brain gate could have. We did use the. Yeah, it's a bit. Uh, writing text is a bit like writing code, isn't it? Yeah, it's fine when it's uh, searching for references, it's giving you different ones. Advancements in artificial intelligence, AI have significantly boosted the capabilities of brain-computer interfaces, BCIs, particularly in the area of medical applications such as seizure prediction and detection. Researchers have been exploring various machine learning techniques to enhance the accuracy and effectiveness of seizure prediction systems by analyzing EEG electroencephalogram data. For instance, AI-enhanced BCIs use advanced algorithms like stacked autoencoders, which are capable of feature extraction from large amounts of unlabeled EEG data. This technique enables the system to bypass the time-consuming and labor-intensive process of manually engineering features for each patient. Such approaches not only streamline data processing, but also adapt to the unique neurological patterns of individual patients, thus improving the predictive accuracy of seizure events 37 source. Moreover, cloud computing plays a crucial role in the scalability and accessibility of these AI BCI systems. By utilizing platforms like Amazon Web Services, these systems can handle large data sets and provide high performance computing necessary for real time monitoring and prediction of epileptic seizures. This setup allows for extensive data storage and rapid processing, which are essential for the real time application of BCIs in clinical settings 37 source. Open and transparent data sharing is another critical aspect of furthering research in this field. Initiatives that encourage the open sharing of EEG data and research findings enable a broader base of researchers to collaborate and innovate. This openness not only accelerates the pace of technological advancement, but also helps in addressing potential biases in AI models by ensuring they are trained on diverse data sets. Open data projects contribute to more generalized and robust AI systems, which are crucial for applications in heterogeneous populations 36 source. These developments underline the importance of integrating AI with BCIs to create more effective, responsive, and adaptable medical tools. However, they also bring forth ethical considerations concerning data privacy, patient consent, and the autonomy of individuals using such technologies. Ensuring that these technologies are developed and deployed transparently and ethically will be key to maximizing their potential while safeguarding user rights. Yes, yeah, so this uh, this is a legit uh, link. It's using it twice. Then you have uh, so using PCA primary component uh, analysis and uh, independent component analysis. But do they actually spell out? It should be a Sorry, not primary, a principal component analysis, a yeah, bad name. So talking about dimension uh, reduction, yeah, which is very important. You get a lot of these uh, models that use like thousands or tens of thousands of uh, parameters. We need to reduce the number of, number of parameters. BCA can, uh, can do that. I see it is independent component analysis and infinite independent component analysis sounds like a mouthful to me um, yeah we like these things because we want to turn them into tools where instead of text you can just uh, you know see some data example data scroll through different controllers and actually see what it does yeah definitely no equations like that because no one actually understands what they are encoder from the autoencoders have been used to extract features. Yeah, I don't know why. It's just the same images there. It's not a great image, is it? What are these little things? And then encoder one it looks exactly like encoder two looks exactly like this softmax thing, which I don't even know what it is. 
input so you have some that's actually quite uh, useful stuff like that uh, because I'm pretty sure any LLM uh, GPT-4 whatever can generate decent code out of this pseudo pseudo code so that's quite uh, handy now this image here this is a comparison of interictal baseline IEG segment on top which does look okay could have been shifted uh, normally shifted around zero and uh, you know normally do like a built a DC out of it that looks legit and then the pre ictal before seizure i e g intracranial e g segment on the bottom like the, there is no way this is any e g it's not pre ictal it's not nothing this is it's that time the samples looks like samples to me it's the sampling rate i don't know anyway it could ever be doesn't really matter it could be 50 hertz it could be also like impedance measurement uh, artifact um, but it's definitely not uh, physiological even though you have stuff like that a little uh, DC shift there but it's not physiological it's an artifact so there's no chance that's correct results American Epilepsy of Soci uh, Society proof of concept prototype yeah this is definitely proof of concept now the title <laughs> uses the word big data <laughs> big EG data they're using this uh, word anywhere else in the um, in the article yeah they use it 21 times so I suggest this is big data set now the confusion matrix the performance essentially of the algorithm yeah the diagonal elements use uh, show the correct decisions so this are uh, correct uh, decisions there 657 they had the uh, 60 essentially interactal samples and 60 pre -ictal. it's like there's no way in the world this should be called a big uh, data set it's not even um, medium it's not even small it's like <laughs> it's like extra small yeah, i don't know why they jump into and let's read this quickly the confusion matrix of the proposed method is shown in table I. To evaluate the classification ability of the proposed unsupervised feature extraction, the EEG feature sets are used for classification by other methods listed in table 2. The extracted features are based on fast Fourier transform, general energy average, and energy STDV over time for each channel, power spectral density correlation coefficients, partial directed coherence of the coefficients, power in band, low gamma phase sync, and log of energy in different frequency bands for each channel, 28. Experimental results in table 2 show that the proposed deep learning method outperforms previous methods for the EEG seizure prediction task. The feasibility of using cloud computing is analyzed by the network latency offered by Amazon EC2 cloud servers. The round trip time, RTT, for servers located at different geographical locations, Virginia, Oregon, Singapore, and Ireland, is calculated for 64 BEEG segments at 10 days using the ping command. The shortest RTT is 15 milliseconds for Virginia server, and the longest RTT is 97 milliseconds for Oregon server. Okay, yeah, uh, using the ping command. Yeah, we discovered the ping command. Great, um, okay. Valid classification. Well, first, uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen other papers that use the uh, random forms, linear SVM, non-linear SVM, uh, other neural networks, and achieved much higher accuracy. So I don't know where they got uh, got them so low. So they, you know, selected a few studies uh, and said how this is uh, much uh, higher accuracy. Yeah, you really need to. So this false positive rate, false uh, negative rate, great. It's pretty small, but um, yeah, I suspect the choice of the other studies or algorithms is uh, not great. Yeah, those are all legit uh, feature Fourier transform. So we have Fourier transform on our website. Go check it out. We have it probably in couple couple of places. Well, any any time series converting to frequency a domain would be using a, a 
Fourier transform. So it will be all uh, these tools, that one. This is, by the way, also intracranial EEG. Yeah, it will be in the 15 there. This is actually what a seizure should look like. Can increase the window size, see the whole thing. Yeah, so that, that will be before seizure EEG. So it definitely should not look, should not uh, look anything like that. It's just something really wrong. Uh, pretty sure this paper was not uh, published anywhere. Uh, this is a preprint. It's just interesting that uh, obviously because it's a preprint, it's the good thing about it is that it's available in the public domain. Maybe the data set is available in the public domain as well. I don't know. But uh, yes, I'm more than happy to cite it, but uh, there's no point going over it. Um, because it's obviously there's a f some major mistakes in it. Yeah, the problem with that the text to speech is uh, it's really good. The speech is the voice is just perfection. Um, but then the way it's being implemented, you can't I can't control the rate of it. I actually have a couple there. Is speech yes obviously there will be adding more controls there later it should have um, you know a rate of uh, speech you know speed um, and other things yeah there's a bunch of them that curve is pretty good and the other problem is that I can't just uh, highlight uh, a certain text and uh, uh, read it out loud can only read the whole uh, response. And this is our keywords. Here are some keywords that encapsulate the themes and subjects we've discussed in this conversation. One, brain computer interfaces, BCIs. Two, artificial intelligence, AI. Three, seizure prediction. Four, EEG data analysis. Five, neurotechnology ethics. Six, data privacy and security. Seven, AI in healthcare. Yeah, Eight, so open legit. data initiatives. Nine, machine learning algorithms. Ten, cloud computing in medicine. Eleven, AI bias and fairness. Twelve, neurological monitoring. Thirteen, patient autonomy. Fourteen, real time data processing. Fifteen, stacked auto encoders. Yeah, that all sounds uh, legit. We also have uh, application. Yeah, we had it. Another one there. It actually does uh, speech uh, production and intracranial EEG. I was talking to an expert that said that this probably, that the AI there is picking up on artifacts from uh, muscle and not the EEG itself. Well, I don't know. This is in uh, nature. You would assume it was. Uh, controlled and checked these patient patients had uh, implanted electrodes SCG so they will be picking up way less a muscle artifact in theory you can ask the bot to comment brain gate where's that one yeah, it's always resorting to using like uh, UCSF or something well yeah there's a good reason for it uh, sometimes it is hallucinating though there's no links it's only placing these links don't work a uh, brain gate does work and that's a legit website and um, so that's good uh, reference there yeah and we might jump to something else let's check our list yeah, we have this BCI AI a blog that will pop up on uh, Body Chaos. 